This is a video showcasing manual small incision cathode surgery technique in a eye with uh, mature intumescent cataract and pseudo exfoliation syndrome. Because of pseudo exfoliation, the pupil hasn't dilated much. We start off with making a conjunctival nick and uh, conjunctival flap. Here, there is no use of any brittle suture, and we don't intend to use any bipolar cautery. The scleral bed is denuded, denuded of any adherent tenons that might be there. And a half thickness uh, scleral in incision is being made 2 mm posterior to the limbus. Creation of tunnel is with the help of same keratome blade. After the anti-chamber entry, we fill the chamber with uh, Lurex dye, stain the anterior capsule. And after washing of the dye, we fill the chamber again with 2% uh, HPMC, viscoelastic substance, and uh, proceed to enlarge the tunnel. Here we can see the pupil is around 5 mm dilated only and uh, there is pseudo exfoliation material on the ant anterior capsule and the pupillary margin also. So here I want to check whether there is any iridocapsular adhesion. I am doing it with the help of Utada force point. And after ensuring there is no iridocapsular adhesion, we try to dilate the pupil a little bit more with the help of coat, which is a viscoadaptive substance consisting of sodium hyaluronate and chondritin sulfate and then we proceed to make a 6 mm or 6.5 mm capsulorexis with the help of utata force here the pupil itself is a rough guide to the capsule capsulorexis so we just Stick to the size of the pupil and make uh, a similar capsular opening. We need to fill the chamber repeatedly with viscoelastic substance so that the chamber doesn't get uh, decompressed and uh, there is less chance of the rexis running off to the equator of the periphery. After the exercise has been complete, we proceed to do the hydro dissection. With hydro dissection, we try to prolapse one hole of the nucleus into the anterior chamber out of the bag. And after doing that, we put some viscoelastic beneath the nucleus and proceed to deliver the nucleus out of the bag. With the help of Isu. Here we are doing the aspiration of cortical remnants left behind with the help of Simco irrigation aspiration cannula.
we have to be a little bit watchful because uh, this eye is uh, having pseudo exfoliation syndrome so it is a well known fact that there might be zonular weakness in these kind of eyes so while removing the adherent cortical material we have to be very careful and patient We refill the chamber with viscoelastic substance and uh, proceed to implant a PMMA hard rigid lens into the back. bit of um, more cortical cleanup and bisco was on the chamber now that the bisco was is complete we inject a little bit of intracambral moxifloxacin and then proceed to hydrate the wound. It is always preferred to put a put an air bubble into the chamber just to be sure that it will close the inner lip of the tunnel very efficiently here we are injecting a bit of dexamethasone and dentamycin supplementary now that the case is complete thank you so much for watching